What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great Monday. We are waiting to hear if uh, Michael Irvin's people end up getting the tape and uh, when it would be released or anything on that. I'm still on pins and needles waiting for that. Um, I want to address something that I heard from Mike Fisher. I uh, was saying that the Dallas Cowboys have interest in C.J. Stroud. C.J. Stroud, the uh, quarterback from Ohio State. And hearing this should make a lot of fans' perk ears perk up because they currently have Dak Prescott under you know at least the next two years contract, and we've been talking about extending him. C.J. Stroud, who, if you go by the quarterback rankings currently, um, well, let's let's talk about C.J. Stroud. Actually, let's let's talk about his pedigree here. He's been in Ohio State for three years, a two-year starter. Um, he ended up having um, sixty-nine point three percent completion percentage, eight thousand one hundred and twenty-three yards, um, nine point eight yard average. And 85 TDs and just 12 interceptions with a rating of a 182.4. That's his resume from college football. Um, Amazing. He's six foot three, although I will say a little bit on the thin side, he's only 215 pounds. But Mike Fisher was saying that the Cowboys have interest in C.J. Stroud. And we've heard Jerry Jones saying, you know, I, I should draft a quarterback every year. And, um, We'll hear a lot of things from the Cowboys. Um, as far as is this going to be a reality, I don't know that that really can be the case. This isn't like, you know, where you get a Dak Prescott in the fourth round, you know, guys that are down the quarterback tree and a developmental guy or like, a you know, a Ben Dianucci. This is the number two prospect right now. If you go through quarterback rankings – Right now, Bryce Young is the consensus number one guy, okay, with the uh, the ratings through um, Pro Football Focus with the 94.1. Um, C.J. Stroud is their number two consensus quarterback coming out with a 90.9 rating for them. And Will Levis, uh, Levis is an 89.5 going by those numbers, and again, all that is subjective. They've been talking about the possibility of having three quarterbacks go in the top ten, which would not be a surprise because you have to take a chance at getting a quarterback. Um, in a perfect world, if you could go through and draft a quarterback and he's you know ready to play right now, that's great because you got four to five years if he's drafted the first round of time that you're not paying him, you know, hence what the Eagles have. Well, the Eagles now are going to have to pay him, which makes it harder, of course, to fill the team around him. The thing is, is the Cowboys, we're sitting on the 26th pick. If they did want to get C.J. Stroud, it would take a lot probably to get up there to get him. Some projections have him going fourth to the Colts. Colts are definitely interested in taking a quarterback. Um, more than likely, you would probably see, you know, in, in a lot of mock drafts, him going to the Colts. Um, you think that Bryce Young would probably go to the Texans with the sum, number two pick, uh, unless the Bears end up trading um, for, you know, or don't end up trading, uh, damn, their quarterback. Um and going for a quarterback, you don't expect the Bears to be doing that, but somebody else may trade with the Bears to get up and take him. So the chances of getting him are you need to be in the top five. Now, I want you to, but the closest thing we can get as far as numbers wise to go would be where the Chiefs went from the 27th spot to the 10th pick and took Pat Mahomes. Here's what they gave up um, they gave up their 27th, their first round pick and then the third-round pick in that same year, and then their first-round pick the next year for the 10th. So they gave up two number ones and a second. I'm sorry, two number ones and a third to move up from 27 to 10. So you're talking about the Cowboys needing to move up. You're talking about at least 
two number ones and a couple of number twos, more than likely you're talking about three number ones to move up. And understand when the Cowboys make trades, they never get good value back anymore. And they always have to overpay. You know, we, we spent a number one to get Amari Cooper, but only got a fifth in return. So that's how that works. So the chances of us moving up to get him are few and far between. And the problem with that, of course, means is if you're spending, you know, a lot of draft capital to get him, you don't have draft capital to bring players around him and you don't play in free agency. So here's what's interesting about his draft profile. Let's just let's just humor ourselves for a few minutes and think about this. What he does well, according to Pro Football Focus, you know those guys watch a lot of football. In a clean pocket, Shroud is arguably the best quarterback in the country. If he has time to throw, he's going to dial in and pick apart a defense. Shroud has excellent vision and sees the field better than almost anybody. He does a great job of finding his open receivers and delivering a strike to any location. It helps that he had the best offensive line and receiving core in college football. However, he still has to make the extra throw, which he rarely fails to do. He's big, strong, and possesses excellent arm talent. Uh, he's 6'3", uh, 215 pounds is a little wiry to me. I don't know about being big. Now, maybe he'll put on a little more beef, but that's kind of thin which is exactly what teams are looking for in a professional quarterback. Stroud has been the beneficiary of some phenomenal Ohio State teams, but he's still one leading the charge and commanding the offense. One thing I want to say is excellent receivers and an excellent offensive line. If the Cowboys were to move up to get C.J. Stroud, hypothetically, and they're not being players in free agency. He's going to have CeeDee Lamb as a wide receiver, Michael Gallup and Noah Brown. Because you're not going to necessarily, unless the Cowboys become players, you know, maybe Odell Beckham. Here's the problem right here. Here's the problem. That's You got the good side, which sounds great. He's accurate, you know. He picks teams apart if there's time. Well, one of the things I always say is sometimes guys benefit from being on a great team and having great players around them. I'm not going to dispute that Jordan Davis is a good player. He is a very good player. But some of his numbers were great because there were so many great players around him. You can't take a a Jordan Davis and put him on a team that doesn't have all those and think that his numbers are going to be as good. They'll still be good because he's still an immovable force, but they're not going to be great because he's now going to be the attention grabber. Here's the problem with C.J. Stroud. What he needs to improve. We talk about how good he is when he's in a clean pocket. 71.7% 71.7% completion rate, 35 TDs, and a 93.4 pro football focus grade. Well, he is basically the polar opposite under pressure. 41.3% completion rate, 6 TDs, and only a 42. So you went from a 93 when he's got a clean pocket and can pick you apart to a 42, less than half. 35 TDs versus six. The same could be said for most quarterbacks when facing pressure, but Shroud is a particular bad when the pocket collapse. He ranks 97th in pro football focuses grade out of 144 qualifying quarterbacks under pressure. This is definitely an area he needs to improve on. Shroud is somewhat of a statue back there in the pocket and rarely ever breaks out to scramble. It's weird because he touches... Uh, touted as a dual threat quarterback when entering college, but was never really using his legs much during his time as Ohio State. He may have to uncork it at the next level as he is sure to be under pressure far more in the NFL than he's ever been in Ohio State. The only time I've ever seen Stroud really use his legs was against Georgia because he was under pressure so often. Um, Georgia is the best defense in college, so we could be. this could be a good sign of what's to come for Shroud against NFL defenses next year. Shroud only other issues was big game ability. Before last Saturday, his most, uh, 
He had mostly underperformed in big games, losing to Michigan twice. However, college football playoff silence any doubts about that as Stroud's best game ever uh, on the biggest stage. Yet, yes, it is still just one game, but we really check all of the boxes the NFL scouts will be looking for and analyze them this spring. Best traits, arm talent, vision, high release, accuracy. Okay. So that's what we have there with him. So you have a guy who doesn't like to scramble, who's great when there's a clean pocket, but when it is time to scramble, when you're under pressure, when you don't have as good or wide receivers, not so much. This is a, you know, a Jerry Jones, you know, talking point you know one of those things that get us fans excited and 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 reacting and everything else keeps the cowboys in the news but this is only a pipe dream it it really is and this this may actually be to try and put a little bit more pressure on dak prescott to take a friendlier deal to think that the cowboys would possibly want to replace him all right good people we got some work to do in the workshop and as always i appreciate each and every one of you guys